Good day, everybody. Good day. It's Monday, Monday, March 26, 2018. How are you? Welcome to the last full week of March. The last full week of the first quarter of 2018. We're off and running. This is crazy. So with that being said, efficiency in the workplace. Here's what I'm talking about today. Get out of the office. I know it's Monday. You want, That's the only thing on your mind is to get out of the office. It's Friday, in some places, it's a holiday. Some places, it's a religious holiday. It just depends on where you work or what's going on or what you celebrate. It's a day to get out of the office. But in between, a regular work week, a regular Monday through Friday work week or any other time, get out of the office. Work remotely if you can. Take your laptop. Take your tablet. Go to the park. Go to the library, the public library. Go work out there. Now, obviously, if you're working on sensitive material, sensitive with sensitive information, you cannot do that. I understand that. But when you have the opportunity to work away from the office, do so under the condition you are working. Now, I know there's people that go and let's have a meeting over at the Starbucks or let's go have a meeting over at this restaurant. Let's have a lunch meeting. That's not really lunch, nor is it really working because it kind of takes two things and, and it just kind of divides it up. But when you go by yourself and work someplace, usually you'll have lunch and then you'll work or usually you'll have your drink and then you'll work or you just sit there and you sip your cup of coffee and you're working. That's what I'm talking about. And why, why is this important? Because it changes, it changes your location. It changes your perspective. It gives you a different point of view because you're not always surrounded by those four walls. You're out there doing something different. You're out there experiencing something different. And when you do that, it changes your mind and it gets your mind thinking in a different way. And who knows, that's where great ideas come from. Who knows what is possible because that's where great ideas come from. It's when you're out of your, out of your comfort zone, out of the ordinary, when you're experiencing something new, the juices get flowing, the mind gets firing, all the synapses are firing off. And guess what? A great idea is born. It's hatched, it's made and it's ready for you to act on. Folks, my name is David Guerra. I will talk to you tomorrow.